Hello, 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 hello. Is it starting? I think it is. Hello, welcome. I think we're online. There we go, yeah, I'm dancing. Nice stuff. Welcome to S-Class Online Carnage, smashing everyone out of the way. This is Jess, our Lee Campbell territory. It's S-Class, ladies and gentlemen. Let's set it up. Um, it's an open lobby. Um, get joining, my name's on the screen. F4H Super GT. Um, yeah, let's, let's do this. Let's have some. Let's have some racing, you know? Some good honest racing maybe with some um, ramming and you know your total carnage thrown in there but maybe some racing as well hopefully we'll see um so any cars allowed just s class and boom look at that 20 people we got some big names let's, let's check out these names oh god jsr myth I'm not familiar, but um, JSR, you know, he's, he's probably quick. JSR Rossi, well, this man needs no introduction. He's one of the best. Ted Davis, com uh, commonly in the streams, very fast. Uh, YMTV Mellish, part of the YMTV crew. Um, yeah, FE Lucky, welcome, hello. GTR Aston, oh my god. GTR Infinity, my ultimate fanboy, he's here. He's here. When did you join F4H? Um, about a week ago. Yachts. So we have yachts in here too. Both of the YMTV guys. Hello. Shout out to shout out to YMTV. And um, wow. Jess R Zoom. FRF Shockwave. He's in here. Fastest man in South America. Fastest man in South America. AMS Roadrunner also a very very fast guy and he doesn't drive the line on so you know he's up there but with that line off I mean, what, what am i loading right now i've got the braking line on i've started using it you know but for season three i'm gonna have to turn it off right um game options hope minimal hope minimal door joins yeah let's do let's do six laps with one quick stop um i think that's all the settings i need to do performance allow upgrades yes um s class four stop no da, da, da. i think that's it random grid yeah 50 second countdown maybe we'll just make it a minute so there we go right select car Laguna Seca then. Um, what do I go with? Probably a JSR Lee Campbell tuned car. And, you know, I'm going to play it safe to begin with. I'm going to go for GT. I haven't actually played S Class in a while, so. Um, I need to get back into the swing of things. Oh. Lucky has just disconnected. Eye racing is it good with controller? You want to be playing that with a with a wheel, really. Um. Oh, do I use? I mean, I use a controller. You can see it here. Um. Are you going to do any Forza Horizon Three streams? Yes, definitely. Um. At the latest one I'll do. Um. Is. For the Hot Wheels pack. Is that everyone ready? Yes. It, oh, FV Lucky's just connected again, so we'll just wait for him. I'm going to do the Hot Wheels pack when that comes out. He's ready and. Okay, let's do it. Let's hope this doesn't go off too badly. It's not a Gears of War controller, it's a. Um, it's just a red one. They they started doing these a couple of months ago. Yeah, let's have a closer look. Pretty nice. I quite like red, so I went for it. And I'm wearing my Forza RC t-shirt. There we go, look at that. Right. Thank you, JSR Lee Campbell. Right, I've got good luck now. Let's do it. 
do you find any games easier with the wheel and vice versa? Um, Forza are definitely easier with the f controller. Um, but you, it's more your sim games that are better on the wheel. So like, I think Project Cars, Assetto Corsa, better on a wheel. iRacing, if you want to call that a game, more of, a, more of an outright sim. But you don't want to be playing that on the controller. How do I join? Um, so my name's on the screen, FYH Super GT. You just search for that name, join session. It should be joinable, but it will be full a lot. So you'll do very well to get in now. You have to be quick. Just like me around Laguna Seca. Watch this, I'm going to win. JSR Rossi is going to be left behind. He can't keep up with me. Right, let's do it. I'm at the back. What have we got then? Handsome Uber, slow off the line. Jesso Rossi's up here with me, or at the back with me. We have six laps, one quick stop. Actually, oh, splash back. I'm flying it. Oh! I'm gonna. Oh! T bone by an F50. Is that JSR Zoom? Okay, that didn't go too well. That could have gone very well if I just got past that massive group. Oh, splash back. I'm just... Oh, my. Sorry, I'm not waiting for you. You're a bit slow. Then. Look at that. It's like five abreast up there. Insanity. Oh, it's absolute... It's, it's a mess. Who have we got out in the lead? Ted Davis streaking away. Yeah, if JSR Rossi finishes behind sixth, then I've then I've beaten him because I'm guaranteed to finish in sixth. Oh, right, he's getting kicked. Who's that? Oh, he's he's gone. Right, Gord zero three eight eight. And he's still in the lobby when I come back. He is hundred percent going. Maybe I didn't pray to JSR Lee Campbell enough. Alas. I'm giving him room, to be fair to him. I'm going to go into the pits as well. That was an absolutely shocking first lap. Dark Knight. Whenever you see my bits, you want to race. Getting you into that falls of vibe. Right. My aim is to finish in sixth place. I started at the back. So that'd be, you know, good. And there's some seriously fast guys. JSR Rossi. JSR Zoom. Some top guys. Top, top, top guys. Right, let's go. Oh, into the wall nearly. Okay, hot lapping session. Hot lapping into the gravel. Okay, right, I need to concentrate now because this is a big one. Try hard mode is engaged. It feels weird driving a Ford after driving so many Porsches recently. And a car with actually some good brakes. When you're driving stock cars all the time, they have awful brakes. This thing actually can brake. It feels quite nice. And some Uber. Is he going to let me go? Please. Don't hang it around the inside. Uh, okay, that's pretty bad. Okay, up behind FB Lucky then. He can be my next victim. Oh, I'm so out with my breaking points right now. Apologies for the crap driving. I need to get my sweat on. It's been a while since the Bodas class, and it's usually my favourite class. Uh, oh, God, that was too close. Let's see if we can get a run here. Super GT mode activated. Of course. Oh, this isn't going to go well. Oh, oh, God. We had like four abreast there. I hope I can hear Yachts in the chat. Who's that behind me? FB Lucky's following me through. A couple of guys just pitted. We've jumped two people then in the, with our epic pit stop strategy. That is a, the 
this line of overtake. Roadrunner out in the lead now. I think the, the pit stop, adding a quick stop in there does... I think it does help. It's, it's better than having one. You just split your strategies a bit. It makes the racing a little bit more interesting. There's quite a lot of people have just jumped in there. Let's see if we can come out ahead of them. So Iconic Flames just jumped in there as I was going through the corkscrew. Let's use that as a barometer. very well at all. Maybe this car isn't the best, or maybe the driver isn't the best. Okay, so there's a couple of cars coming out of this there. Who's this? Oh, so... Okay, so I'm just going to get out ahead of him, and we can come out behind three cars here. Oh, they're going to make contact. Okay, alright. Got some overtaking to do, guys. Move number one. Once you're up at the inside, just hit your braking point. Most people will just simply go wide. Because they're just under pressure. Look at that. We've, we've scythed by those three people already. Barely halfway into the lap. Up into 11. We've done our pit stop, so we're only going to gain really from here. In terms of um, people going into the pit lane. I'm not sure how many people. I think most people have to it, but we'll see. Oh, that's a bit deep. Oh, we're not going to cut, though. Oh, not going to cut too much. So Epic Hawks just gone in, and again, I was on the Corks course, so I should get past him. And that's horribly wide. We're opening up that gap. Going to second gear. Okay, we are going to get that place from Epic where he is in the F50. The AI does some retarded thing on the exit of pit lane at the bridge, so it just it, it breaks. Like, just as you're exiting it, like, for no reason. You want to be speeding up, of course, but it breaks. So you lose a good. Second or two, then, just from that. The tenth position. The race is fairly spread, actually, looking at the map. AMS Roadrunner out in the lead. There's, judging by the map, there's four more people left to go into the pits. And yes, they are going to have to go in now. Because this is their last chance to do so. Please, Chance Lee Campbell, please grant him sixth place. We shall see. We shall see. I don't, I mean, this group ahead of me is a bit too far away. I'm going to have to jump a few people in the pits, but they went in way ahead of me. And I haven't driven that well in this race, actually. Pretty hard commentating and driving. I'll say that. The race behind looks very close. Looking on the map, and I'm just kind of in the middle. I'm in the dark abyss in the centre of this race. On my own. I guess all we can do now is just try and set up the lap. That's not very strong, is it? Only a tenth down. So we've got RBM yachts behind us, so Mr. Ali Tack. You would have seen him on the New York Invitational if you watched it. Great insight as always, part of the Wayne TV squad. Oh, I'm actually getting Apex for once. Look at that. Beautiful. Why am I so careful on the throttle? Well... I don't know, I'm just trying to play it safe at the moment. 
there wasn't much on for me in this last lap. Roadrunner then with the victory. Let's see, let's see, how this, let's see how this goes then. Um, let me remove my my face. Have a look at the results. AMS Roadrunner just about beating Ted Davis to the victory. GTR Aston completing the podium. And Mellish there, good result, finishing fourth. Yes, uh, Rossi in sixth place. That is he Super GT? Maybe they're the, they're the same person. Same person. This is this uh, the, the, the mystery deepens. Let, let's take another look at the results. There it is, JSR Rossi in sixth place. Um, JSR Zoom DNF'd, maybe disconnected. I think his connection might be a bit dodgy. Um, he is from Brazil, so you know, other side of the world. But yeah, well done to Roadrunner there for the for the win. That moment though, JSR League, JSR Rossi, Super GT. You use clutch with gamepad. What button layout? I prefer to upshift X and downshift on A and then always clutch. Okay, so I would put, um, so I, let me show you. Upshift B, downshift X, clutch A. So to shift up, um, you're just going A and B. To shift down, you're just going A and X. Um, I think that's the easiest way. Okay, let's have a look. See if yep we can change. Um, Road America, I think it would be a good track. Um, do six laps. Rossi versus Super GT. Well, they can't race against each other if they're the same person. Right. Um, yeah. What car should we go for around here then? So race one out of the way. Well done to Road Runner. Let's see who's going to come out on top at Road America. Very fast track. You do want a straight line beast. Relatively. I mean, I could go the Zagato. This, thing, this thing's a beast in a line. George, watched your video ages ago on how to shift. It taught me a lot. That's the idea. Hope, hope it did work, yeah. Yachts. I can hear yachts, yeah. I can hear you. Hello. Be yeah, a couple of guys talking in the chat. I'm going to turn off the line. Um, off. For Porsche, um, Forza Race Championship Season 3, you're not allowed to use the line, so I need to get back to using, using it off. I just can't get over the clutch hill yet. I will be fast after the initial paint. Clutch, I think, honestly, out of all the assists, traction control, ABS, clutch is the easiest one. Because if you map it to what I said, A, you're just you're just pressing two buttons at the same time. It's not much different than just pressing B or pressing X. You're just pressing A and B on A and X. <laughs> Fancy bacon. Nice comment, yeah. Why race properly when you could just create a clone called JSR Rossi to, to race to race for you? Right, let's let's uh, get readied up, and then we can go. X, press X. Oh, Roadrunner. Um, he uses LB, brakes with his middle finger. Well. Even more respect then, because that, I mean, I couldn't do that. That's hard. Well, for me it is. If you're good, I guess it's not. But yeah, I mean, fair play. If you can do it, then why not? What's Rossi gone with? Oh, 
8.3 speed, 9.2 acceleration. <laughs> I love Rossi, he always brings out his, his straight line monsters. He can just handle the car through the corner. He can just deal with the lack of handling. He can just handle it. And then get to a straight. Goodbye, he's off. Press X, press X to pay respect. Then we can start. Dan, you've got 10 seconds to press X, otherwise you get kicked. Oh, who's that other guy who ran me off? Oh, no, he's not here now. Epic Hawk, choosing his card. Right, you two, ready up. Yeah, Dan WX, ready up. Ninja Man's done it, splash back. Right, oh, mate, come on. Taking you 10 minutes just to choose your car. Right, there you go, right, X. X. There we go. Right, cool. Let's, let's go. X stands for many things. I, I liked your comments, guys. I, I really liked it. Midget Man 89. Hi. Hello. Right, race number two, AMS Roadrunner to beat. I was at the back of that grid and I finished 10th plus 14, not bad. Let's see what we can do. Race number two, Road America. I think this, this the start of this track always causes carnage because it's so thin. Our family's passion is cheese. Um, but yes, it's a thin start. And you've got a wall on the right hand side. So no, no escape over there. It does cause some carnage. Especially if one guy doesn't get off the line, then it's a mess. Anyway, let's go. Oh! This thing is a. Oh, we've got carnage already. Who was that? Couple of punts, couple of punts. I'm still alive, just about. Okay, so this this car is an absolute monster in a line. Oh, maybe the trash control even. Look at look at this thing go. It just our Rossi's already in the lead, right? I mean race over, let's just let's go home now guys. That's it. Oh god. I saw a couple of proximity arrows come flying out of there. Oh, the grass. Menishing the MX5. Plenty of smoke screens being laid down. Got Ted behind me in the SRT Viper. He's trying to come past on the outside. There's a log jam. He's gonna get me in. Kind of hemmed in here behind FB Lucky. He's going to go wide. Oh, can I cut back? No. Ted Davis with a nice double overtake on the carousel. Jordan Ace behind me now. Oh, that's Melish wide. Well, now I can get some speed down, hopefully. Actually, you know what? This car doesn't seem to have everything the speed in the world. We'll see up the main straight. Oh, FE lucky, a little bit deep. It's not very good on traction, this car. Higher gears, higher gears. Oh. Killed myself. Right, I've just committed fours of suicide. Sorry, 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 sorry. That was my fault. I was just trying. Trying so careful there. Trying to be so careful. I've absolutely killed that guy's dreams. Absolutely wrecked his dreams. Oh boy. Have I driven the new Open Manta? Um, Mantra? I haven't, no. Uh, I shouldn't, yeah, I think they've given. Yeah, so anyone who beat Mechberg or got within five seconds, you should have your cars. So there's that Ferrari. And the Opal. 
So that was an absolutely shocking end to that lap. I think the Zagato is so quick in the line, but it's a good car around Watkins. Maybe, maybe I just need to get better. No, I do. Yeah, I de definitely do. Okay, right. Down into 21st. He's had a shocker. So this is why I'm careful on the throttle, because if you're not, you will spin out. Right, let's go. I mean, I don't know where I can finish now. If I do top 10, I mean, that would be a miracle, I think. That's actually very good. I think when I properly concentrate, I can, you know, actually race quite well. Here's the French, is that the French guy I wiped out? No, it was in a grey car, wasn't it? And he didn't pit. We'll meet him later, and I'm sure he'll have something to say to me, in the form of smashing me off. So who have we got here? GTI Infinity. My number one fanboy. My number one fanboy in the house. R34 Rush. Oh, that is not the line you want to be taking into there, mate. Got the car back on him. And we can get a run now. Oh, I can see that guy's car on a lift. What are the runoffs there for? Don't overtake me, please. Yeah. Well done. Right, let's not make that uh, same mistake again. Do that again and you're kicked. Just kidding. See you later. Super GT was a victim of the Super GT effect. Very possible. There's one guy I've overtaken. A couple of guys in the pits. Oh, here comes someone just. Ironic Flame 6657. There should be no match down for me down this. Oh, he's, he's, he's pulled over. Super TT just has that effect on people. Probably because they don't want to get smashed out of the way. So they just play it safe, you know? For those of you who watched my one of my recent videos, I was actually killing myself so many times there. In the Porsche Porsche video I did, not my most recent one, the one before that. Killed myself many times in that corner. So yeah, not my best corner at all. I'm up into 16. We still have more than half the race left to go though, so. Top 10 isn't impossible. And Mesh, they're going into the pits from third. So we top by nicely there. I think, I think with these cars which are fairly layery on the throttle, less is more. You kind of, if you just start going full throttle all the time, you will just you'll lose a lot more time. Just need to be a bit, a bit reserved on that trigger finger. Hopefully, I do hope the quality is a little bit better. I mean, I was trying 1080p 60 frames per second last time at quite a high bit rate, so I think that's why it was uh, juttering a little bit. But this, I think this stream should be a little bit better. Top to 30, 12. You know what? Top 10 is not impossible. We have 11th place just ahead of us here. The race has become a bit spread. And then again, we don't know who's pitted as well. It makes sense um, 
if you're towards the front of the pack, it makes sense to not hit until the very last lap. Because you're just going to come back out in traffic. You might as well just try and stay out and extend your gap. Okay, there we go, that's better. Perfectly on the brakes that time. Maybe you should have stayed in third. Let's try staying in third. I mean, usually I, I take second through that kind of corner, but even in third, you can see they're just trying to wheel spin out, so I think third is what you need. Even on this corner, this is quite a sharp corner, but I think third, even through here. Yeah, that's okay. So Rossi into the pits from the lead, and Ted Davis from second. And Yox goes in from fourth. So they're all going to come out way ahead of me. And you shouldn't underestimate the speed of the YMTV guys. Um, Yox and Merich are very quick, very quick. Um, in case you didn't, in case you didn't know, in case you thought they were one-trick ponies with the commentary, no, they're fast as well. They are actually fast. So this has been a fairly safe lap, I guess. Just catching up slowly with this noble enemy. And we have another noble head of that. Using the magic 10th place. I think it's just one more person off the pit from what I can see on the map. Or maybe two. So up this straight, I'm gaining a lot on this noble. Oh, I've killed him. Come on, go, 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 go. This is the thing, like, if he wasn't there, that would have been a great line. Oh, okay, he's going to go defensive. Well, because he was there, I mean, I killed him. That moment with Super GT is just the biggest record. Oh my god, Mobile One Board. They are flying. Don't touch it, otherwise you will die. Hardest substance known to man. So careful on the throttle. Oh, it's a little bit deep. That's what she said. Oh. Less is more, less is more. Jess, our myth into the lead. But then I think um, all the guys around him have pitted. I think he's the one who hasn't pitted, so I'd imagine he'll come back into second, I think. I think that's where he was. So there he goes, into the lead. Oh, into the pit, sorry, from the lead. He's actually holding up Ninja Man now. So I'm a little bit, a little bit off par through the corners. It's up the straights where this car excels. Doesn't help when you get a poor run like that. GTR Aston is this as well. It'd be interesting to see if I can come out ahead of him. Maybe that's a little bit too far, actually. But we shall see good if I can get into the top 10 again. Now, with Forza RC Season 3 coming up very soon, I would like to host some practice lobbies. And I'm entered into all of the races, so on each Sunday, starting from next week, I will do a live stream on the races. Oh, some of these just come out of the pits, and that was Aston, I think. Yeah, it was. So I'm up into 10. So there's that fast line into turn 1. Can we catch up with Big T, 024T, and then. Quite a long winded game attack, but. Okay. Our family's passion is choose. Right, JSR Rossi. Got this one in bag. He's 4,700 feet ahead of me. It's absolutely ridiculous. Such a big gap. I'm actually gaining. I'm definitely gaining. It's on, lads. It's on ninth place. Tenth is the new sixth, it seems, though. At this rate. Bit 
ride again. This car, I mean, it's good, but it's fairly hard to drive. You do have to be... You have to have your head screwed on. a mobile one board and dies. So that's Rossi winning the race. Let's see who finishes in sixth place. That's the question. I think that that mistake I made on that one cost me a lot. A couple of positions at least. Oh well, it's gonna be a turn. Thirty seconds behind. There we go, 10th place. Um, let's have a look at the results in a minute. Well, let's have a quick look now. Melish in second in the Mazda. He did very well to come through there. Um, Ted Davis in third, another good result. Roadrunner is seventh this time. We couldn't quite see. I think he had an incident and on the final corner of lap one. I think he was in the orange skyline from what I could see. So it's not not the best lap for him, but let's just have a look at the results. So Rossi, Mellish, Davis, Lucky Sod in fourth, Myth fifth, and Yachts in sixth place this time. Roadrunner seventh. Super GT rounding out the top ten. Okay, there we go. Let's bring me back. Kick players so I can join the lobby. I've always wanted to race with you. Yes, uh, from the next race we'll be doing that. Bomb four, get kicked. Bottom four. Oh, Ted Davis disconnect. There's two spaces, there's two spaces. What about some Watkins Glen? That's a great shout, let's do it. Once everyone's back. Um, full alternative version without the chicane, I think. That chicane just causes carnage. So Watkins Glen, there we go. Full alt, let's put the quick stops back on. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. Yep. We'll go six laps. Yeah, six laps. Again. Now this is where the VTOB Zagato is good. It's, it's better around here, I think. Um, but do we want to use the same car twice in a row? Maybe, maybe not. Let's let's have a look at something else. Um, so the Noble, I know, it is, a, is a good car around here. So the JSR Lee Campbell one. The Viper, I mean, that's always been a good S-Class car. Honda NSX, possibly. Jula DT tuned one. The McLaren F1 GT, I like this car around here. Maybe it's a bit down on power, but the handling's all there. And I'm going to go for it. So what do we have? Um, Roadrunner's gone with the DBS. I know that's a good, yeah, that's a solid car. Mellish staying in the MX-5. It looks so out of place in S-Class, that car. It just looks too small. Myth has gone with the Noble. Matt Aston with the uh, NSX 05. Yeah, so um, I'm going to kick out the bottom four from this race. And if you, if you quit, so let's say the race starts and someone quits, you finish last because you're the first person to quit. So you, you're, you, that counts. Um, right, yeah. A couple of 05 NSXs. Effie Lucky's gone for the F1 GT as well. Um, a couple of 4 GTs. GT40. Has a move with the 08 Viper. Bright pink. You won't miss him. Viper 13 Viper's good. 
SRT Viper can be pretty quick in S class. JSR Rossi banging out his 9 acceleration uh, Daytona Coupe. Yeah, what kind of stats? I've got 9.3 acceleration, 7.7 um, .7 speed. He's got the 8.7 speed, so he should be a bit. Should be uh, pretty quick down that back straight if he can get a good run through the through the S's. So let's ready up, uh, Lucky Sod. Press the X, press the X button. Race E class around Nurburgring. Oh, the banter in that comment. Um, this is an S class lobby. I mean, maybe another time, but 50 lap, 50 laps in the wet E class. Who's up for it? 24 hour live stream how do how do we join for the next race okay so for those of you who want to join obviously at the moment you can't it's full i will be kicking people out my name is on the screen f4h super gt you can see it in the middle there go to your xbox guide thing search for a person f4h super gt type that in join and there you go but only if there's space which there isn't but there will be Kick who finishes in sixth. But that's me. It's going to be me. And then that's it. The stream's over. There he is. YMTV, uh, YMTV Racing. He's in the comments. Hello. Big shout out to YMTV. Click on his name. Subscribe. Smash that subscribe button. Well, here we go. Oh. Someone not starting there. Sorry if I uh, ran across someone there. Oh, oh, three abreast into the S's. I'm going to come out on top. Thank you. Someone on the grass. Coming across. It's a mess. I'm past the pink viper. Oh, yes, I've done it. Jess R. Rossi. Oh, <laughs> Jess R. Rossi. <laughs> He's done it. What a legend. Right, let's tuck in behind. Man, that was close. Ah. Ah. So wide. Right, who, guess, guess who's in sixth place? That's rad. It's your boy, Super GT. Right, we've got to get past Fanboy. Here he is. Super GT effect. Out the way, son. Is that Lee? Not Lee Cow. Is that JSR Rossi getting his drift game on again? He's totally trolling me right now. Aston coming up in his. He's uh, on the sex. I can't see anyone stopping. Rossi in this race. He's coming through. That guy is just coming through. He's slicing through. So we do have... We still have a quick stop on. So you can dive into the pits. I mean, I've got a bit of a gap here, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay out. We've done an early pit stop in the last two races, so let's mix it up a little bit. GTR Aston coming up behind me. I think he's going to go past on this back straight. That NSX is... Oh my god, that curve has absolutely killed me. I'm fully expecting him to come through here. And there he goes, yeah. Let's see how good, how good he is on the brakes though. So I'm going to cover the inside. Two guys ahead look pretty slow. He's gone a little bit deep actually chance on the exit maybe. We can go side by side into this left. Oh, I've got the braking performance over him. Just went down into second gear momentarily. And side by side again. Oh, it's a four way fight here for third place. Oh and I'm not concentrating going straight off. Imagine Aston can put his power to good use up this back straight. Oh, 
blitz had braked a little bit early there. Let's get past the Frenchman. I'm going to go around the outside into this one. Yep, done it. Just going to make him think twice about that the inside there. Oh, oh, what's going on? Oh, look at that. Super GT. Oh, look how good he is. Strap into third. Keep him just on the curb. Which is clean, by the way. You can keep two wheels on that curb. Save this a little bit better. There we go, yeah, nicely done. Let's open up that gap then. JSR Rossi, I mean, he's gone. He is gone. A couple of guys have pitted early. So now I've got the open track. Let's try and catch up with uh, Epic Hawk in second. Most of this uh, clean air. I think Aston will hang it with me here. He's got a good car. And he's not that bad, you know? He's, he's a quick guy. Oh, God. Yeah, definitely keep it with me now. You can think twice about going up the inside here. Oh. I did break it a bit early there. Sorry. You have my apologies. I wasn't trying to brake check you. It's this whole commentary whilst racing gig, you know. Pretty, tr pretty tricky. I'm getting it all wrong right now. What's going on? Right. Okay, right. Let's see if we can gain then on Epic Hawk. As we cross the line... We are 870 feet behind. Let's see if we can make that a little bit smaller, shall we? It's half the race done. So oh. we want to start gaining, really, if we can. Oh. Just about made that work. I think second place is on. I think we can get second. I don't know what the other guys have done on their pit stop strategy, so... They could come out of nowhere and beat me still. Oh, just tag the glass. Okay. Not bad. Oh, who's this? Roadrunner's coming through. In the Aston. So, Aston, GTR Aston getting overtaken by an Aston. So maybe it's not going to be plain sailing here to try and finish on the podium. I think we have gained a second, but we've got a big threat now. Roadrunners behind us. And he might even go into the pits here to avoid being stuck behind me. Let's see. We might want to make a dramatic moment and go for the big pass on the stream in front of the adoring Super GT fans. What's he done? He's stayed out. He'll get me on the back straight, I'd imagine. I think that thing is a good, good little beast in the line. And we're definitely closer to Epic Hawk at the end of that lap. What, maybe three, four hundred feet. Let's see how these cars compare then down this back straight. Um, yeah, fairly even actually. So he is simply just driving that thing a lot better. Good on the brakes, I must say. Maybe that's where I've been lacking. Oh, 
back for like Apex. And this one too. He's thinking about the inside. I've gone wide here lots of times. I've gone it again. So we're all going to have to dive into the pits here. And I think the Epic Hawk has driven very well here to maintain second. It's not like he's uh, struggling really. He's uh, fairly casual. Keeping it nice and clean. Oh, Roadrunner! Just caught the curb, I think. Maybe not sim twitch, I don't know. Big moment, big moment for him. Has he recovered? He's still there. He's still in fourth, so he's not out of it. No, fifth, sorry. Aston is now in fourth. So this is going to be very interesting. I have no idea what the other end of the race is like. So once we come out here. We might come out with quite a few people. Could get could get close. Here's a fun fact: Super GT racing performance decreases when he's in positions five and better. You know what? Maybe it could be true. Could be true. That's just nature wanting me to get back to sixth. I think that's what it is. I mean, there's it's the it's the little known law that that Newton. You know, Newton has the many laws of physics. Um, the one that you don't know about is Super GT must finish sixth, so the world will adjust itself to make it happen. Okay, oh, actually, we're quite a way ahead here. So, oh, a bit sideways. Got a bit spread actually. Our only chance of anything here is a second from Epic Hawk. He's got he's got a gap. And he hasn't been flustered at all in this race. I don't think he's really put a wheel wrong. This has been very safe all the way around. Driven within himself. I mean, once Rossi, once Rossi goes past you, you might as well just give up. Give up on any hope of winning. Just accept the second place would be the best you can get, and you've driven very well. I think I've just about caught up a little bit, but Rove under there, all oh, side by side with, um, with Aston, I think. Aston's actually in fourth. Let's take a look who gets through there. Oh, it's very close. I wouldn't want to call that one to the end. Roadrunner's back into fourth. And yeah, he's got it comfortably now. So Aston overtaken by the Aston on the last lap. And there's Jess R. Rossi winning again. With Epic Hall second. Super GT third. Not a bad result. Okay, there we go. Not bad, not bad. Newton's third law. Yeah, there you go, there you go. But maybe his stream is freezing a little bit now. Five more seconds and we'll have a look at the results. VIR. It's never a good track to choose because not everyone has the Porsche pack. Tibor, no worries. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Right, let's have a look at the results. Jess R. Rossi, of course. Epic Hawk, second. Super GT, Roadrunner, Aston, Lucky Sod, Mellish, and Blitz, Lever, the gamer. I think the guys who started near the front and just got away, got away, and then that was it. So Big T, you're going to have to go. W, uh, Dan WX, Splashback, and I, Ironic Flame. Thank you for joining, but that is your time. And uh, we can get a couple more people in here.
only with the, only with the power of McLaren does Super GT surpass his limitation of six. There you go. There you go. Right, who was it? Labur the gamer. No, he was he was okay. Um, it was Dan. Thank you. Um, Splashback's just gone. Ironic Flame and Big T. I think they've both gone already. Ironic Flame and Big T. Yep. So again, the bottom four are going to go. So there'll be more chances. Give this man some love. Top fours of content. Big shout out to YMTV Racing. Oh yeah. Top Gear? Nah, no, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. Are we gonna do Yeah, let's do it. We're gonna do Monza. I don't know how people feel about Monza. I don't know how people feel about Monza. It's one of those tracks really, isn't it? It's one of those tracks. It's like Oh, are we going to do it? We're going to do it. And let's put a quick stop on. Okay, so for those of you who are asking how to join, my name's at the top of the screen. Type it in on the search thing for when you find a friend. Join the session. But it is, um, it's full up. You can see there, um, which way would it be? That way. 24 out of 24. So, only kicking four ain't enough. Maybe it's not, but it's fair. Four. It doesn't let you join because it's full. A couple of Zagatos. Um, this track's a weird one because you do want a quick car in a line, but you need to get the speed onto the straights as well. So you do need handling a, a bit. To an extent, you do need it. You can't join until he kicks chess off. Oh, Rossi. I'm not going to do that. Well, unless he finishes in the bottom four, which probably won't happen. I'm going to go with... Is it this one? Yeah. Oh, should I? Um, let's have a look at the other cars. F50. Give the F50 a go. Is that the one I want? The 6.5 handling? No. Um, I think I've got a quicker one. Or have I? I don't know. Um, oh god. Sorry for the wait. I mean, this would be a good track for the Zagato, I think. Oh, screw it. Let's just go with Honda NSX. Let's just go with the Honda NSX. The 92 version. Jula DT tuned this one. And I, I've used it before. It's a bit bouncy, but it's good on the... Like the open GP circuits. Definitely. Dan, yes. Yeah, sorry. Sorry you have to go, but, you know, those, those are the rules. Tozai, Tozai, sorry, I got it wrong again, but his Wi-Fi killed him. Who have we got? Any any other big names? I know this name, I've, I've seen this guy a couple of times before. So six feet under, just using his car, then we can go. God, check that beast out. Fast and furious. 8.5 speed. I, I, I'm just playing into the hands of Rossi here because he can, he can just handle these cars through the corners, these crazy speed cars. In 
Infinity Q30, Q50. Okay, interesting choice. It's got a lot of straight line speed. There we go. Let's go. So again, bottom four will will go to to make some space. Is Yachts is Yachts still in here? I'm just having a look. I can't see him. I don't think he's in there still. Um, yeah, bottom four will go. Make some space. Will we be seeing you in London for the RC? In London? You're gonna have to talk to me about this. If it's in London, I mean, I can get there. I can get to London. Okay, so so Yachts is gone, but we still got Mellish. We still got Mellish. I think Mellish actually features on my. I had a video in about December. A rainy, respectful race with Rossi. And I think Mellish was in that race. And he actually beat both of us. I think. Right, let's go. Monza. You don't see this one too often. Maybe for good reason. Probably for very good reason. But we're going to get on the brakes very early. And just pick our way through the carnage. Oh, yes. <laughs> There it is, there it is. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry. Oh man, I'm getting sim twitch here. I'm so sorry to that Brazilian guy. I totally killed him. Just your standard, standard turn one at Monza. Oh, he's turned round. The infinity is round. GCR Aston's gone for the Aston this time. Epic Hawker up ahead of us. Oh, they're, they're all white. See you later, lads. God, everyone is off. I think this is just one of those tracks that people just don't do too much, so... You have to get in the swing of it. Oh, it's just definitely the space. Thank you very much. Melish in the lead now. You know what? That's not a bad first little lap, actually. It's not over yet. I mean, I could kill myself at the last turn. Parabolica. Um, surprise, surprise, Rossi is in the lead. I think we need to make it S-class for us, but A-class for Rossi. We should do that. I think I could try that. Everyone's going to the pits. I'm going to stay out here. Go up into third. So AMS Roadrunner as well stayed up in the lead. Ninja Man ahead of us. Oh, someone's off. I break way too early. I'm up into second somehow. Okay, let's go. Um, Roadrunner out in the lead. So winner of the first race at Laguna Seca. Turns into a hot lapping session now. Oh, those Monza curbs, baby. Reminds me of Forza Racing Championship all over again in the Mustang. Who remembers that? That, that um, kerfuffle with the curbs. Maybe Monza doesn't get enough love, you know. I, I mean, it does have a problem with the curbs. It definitely does. And the first corner does cause carnage, but actually, yeah, I, I've never been a massive fan of driving this track. I mean, I love watching Formula One around here, but never been a massive fan of driving it in, in Forza. Just thought I'd give it a try because we don't see it a lot. Shrek is a Super GT fan. Really? Wow. Never knew that. Okay, so it looks like I'm pulling away here from WJM25, third place. 
Roadrunner's probably gained two, three hundred feet on me like that. So we've done a one forty-seven nine. See if we can beat that. Breaking up to the two hundred this time. Pretty much perfect, actually. So that's about 175 feet, or 175, whatever the unit is, from the corner. Can we get the braking markers? It's almost off there. Curve Grande into the first chicane. Yeah, this car is really good. So, for those of you who want to know what it is, Honda NSX. 92 tuned by um, fastest man in Greece Jula DT GTR space Jula DT J U or J W oh, so U U not the letter W J U U L A R D T struggled but I got it out there again. Scary. This is really tough to get right. Totally obliterate that curve on the exit. Oh, it's a long straight. So let's read some comments. So, uh, Death Monster 369 just finished in sixth place. Is he now Super GT? You are, yes. It's kind of like um, Fight Club, you know. You're all, you're all, you're all Robert Paulson. You know what I mean? Or if you watch Walking Dead, you're all Negan. You just say you're Super GT. 47.7. What a second faster. Okay, we're in there nicely. Look at that. Go for a nice quick lap around Monza. I think once you string a lap around here, it feels good. It can be very satisfying to string a lap around Monza. It's just the curbs can be quite tricky and you do need a bit of luck in, in a rival's lap. Especially through like this chicane. Like to maximise the curbs through there. Lesmo 1, Lesmo 2, oh, one and a little bit early. Best corner I've ever done. We have 161 people watching, that's really good. So, hello, welcome to everyone who is watching, and thank you. Always means a lot to have a lot of uh, viewers, always pleasing to see. I mean, if I could host a 163 player lobby, I would get all of you in here. That would be an absolute mess, but I mean if we could do that, let's let's say we could do a hundred or two hundred player lobby around Rio. I mean that would just be so funny I think. GT should I get F6 or wait for seven? Well I mean if you've got the money just buy six. Because it's still gonna be a while until seven comes up. I mean, it's a question I get asked a lot. It's, the thing is, I don't know your finances. I don't know if you can afford it. If you can afford it, then you might as well do it because you've still got at least five months until four to seven. Coming up to the tense moment where we have to go in the pit lane and find out how well we've done. I mean, when I went into the pits, I was in fifth or seventh or something, around about that. So let's see if I can hopefully rejoin. Uh, maybe in sixth place, maybe. We'll see. We've got one and a half laps left. I've not really made any inroads onto Roadrunner. I'm three temps up on this lap, but I'm actually way too deep into there. So that's going to be that advantage gone. Okay, 
Right, so we're going to have to go into the pits this lap to see what we can do. When I get it, can I play with you? You certainly can. I mean, I'm going to be hosting a lot of these lobbies. And um, there's always chances for you to join. I mean, my plan is to try and host two a week. So, plenty of opportunities. So there we go, into the pit lane. So, you know, most of your friends have Forza Horizon 3, yeah. I think most people kind of... I mean, I like both, but I think most people kind of prefer one or the other, Horizon or Motorsport. I'm definitely a Motorsport guy. Is that Rossi? Rossi's going already past us. And who's this going past us as well? That's Melish. So I'm fourth. Is that another two guys? Another two guys coming up. This is going to be very close, actually. I think we're going to get ahead of them. FB Lucky. Yes, I'm ahead. I haven't outbroken myself into turn one. Oh, they've come together. That's going to give me some breathing space. So actually, not a bad little stint there. Going from about... 5th, 6th or 7th, I think, to 4th, I've gained, behind Roadrun still. Uh, Rossi out in the lead. I mean, someone's got to stop this guy. He's just too good. He is honestly just too good. He's just a machine. The man is a machine. Yeah, only fourth. Sorry, guys. Got some top guys in here. And it's Melish in second. I said it earlier, he's quick. He knows what he's doing. Does Melish. Okay. So that's it. One corner left and then we've done. Um, Monza. You know, why not? You don't, you don't see it too often. Probably for good reason, I guess, because just look at that field spread, it is pretty big. I think there's definitely a difference between hosting stock cars and um, just S class or, or, or a class. When you, when you do stock cars, the racing is always going to be close. I'd watch an LMP1 stream endurance, where do I sign up? Yeah, actually, I was thinking of doing that because. I did it before on Twitch. I did the Daytona. Um, it's like 82 laps, I think. Is this this guy's trolling me, even though I finished. That's my AI, mate. That's an epic fail. Anyway, yeah. So I did that that endurance. It took like two and a half hours, maybe three, and I finished second. Second. So I have to do it again. I didn't win. Ugh. Um, will you be doing any more leagues? Because they're fun to watch. Um, at the moment, I don't have a plan to do a, stream, um, a league, but I'll have a look around. Possibly could do one. Oh, level 25 on Honda. Let's have a look at the results. Which go something like this. Jess, our Rossi with Melish and Roadrunner rounding up the podium. I finished fourth. Six feet under it, uh, rounding out the top ten. Aston there, in the Aston, in seventh. And the bottom four who are going to get removed. It's Ben. Goodbye, pork pie. Well, you're going to have to say goodbye. Happy camper and Anjo Saw. We can say goodbye to you guys. Thank you for thank you for joining. Do carry on watching, though, of course. You know, don't leave. Carry on watching. So there's about... 100 people already at the join the lobby button right now. Oh, there's three spaces. And there's about to be a couple more. Kick. Anjo Saw. Thank you. Goodbye, Pork Pie. Goodbye. And Happy Camper. Okay, so we have a couple of spaces. There we go. Who are they going to go to? Let's see. 
wheels don't work in Forza. They work, just not as good as a controller, I guess. I think on the on on average, yeah, you're going to be slow on a wheel. Do spiral Silverstone. Good shout. Um, after the after the mess that Monza is, we want a nice open circuit. So we're going to go with Silverstone GP six laps. Shrek the Ogre got in. Well done. We're up to twenty four people again already. Big T. Now I'm pretty sure he finished at the back in one of the previous races. P people are getting around the system here. Leaving the lobby before and then coming back. Would you mind explaining what we do if anybody is interested in league racing and open lobbies? In, in what way, um, in in which leagues do you mean, and open lobbies? You, why you kick it's Ben? Because he finished at the back. We, we kick out of the bottom four people. Right, let's select my car. Uh, T-H-I, Tatey. It's Tatey in the house. Mr. Forza News. He's in the comments. What a legend. Fastest man in New Zealand. He left Watkins. Yeah, I thought so. We'll give him a chance. But from now on, I need to write down. ORL. Well, so you mean like, what's the process of joining a league if someone wants to join one? That kind of thing. Um, one second. Right. Just choose a car quickly. What we're doing? Silverstone. Right. What do I what do I go for? Should I be a complete noob and go KTM crossbow? Or no, that's that's committed for as a suicide. That. <laughs> I'm blushing. Ah, oh. fastest man in New Zealand. I'm gonna give. Oh, is that car too stiff? It's too stiff. Let's give it a go, let's give it a go. It's, it's, the stats are okay. So, but yeah, Melish wants me to, let's, let's have a quick word on ORL, like some leagues. There's, there's leagues out there. So for those of you who want like cleaner racing and you're fed up with the hoppers, Let's be honest, they're pretty bad. There's plenty of leagues out there that you can join. So like ORL, Online Racing League. Um, so Google it, I mean, there's plenty of leagues. AOR as well, they do a couple. Um, PTG are doing a charity cup very soon where you can actually win a prize to go to the British Grand Prix, so that's pretty cool. Um, so that's the pendulum tuning garage. There's there's leagues out there you can join. Anyone can, you know, join up, subscribe, uh, join. Subscribe not the right word. Six feet under, we can ready up and then we can go. There's plenty of leagues out there. Also on Twitter, I think Twitter is a good place to be if you want to know about open lobbies and stuff. So, I mean, obviously you've got me doing this. YMTV held one a couple of hours ago. Um, so Ali Johnson just naming a couple. There we go. We can start. Oh, is someone else not ready? He's going to ready up. ORL Tora. Tora, of course, like the biggest name probably in league racing. AOR, VRA. I haven't heard of them, but okay. Um, so there's plenty of leagues you can join if you want proper regulated racing with evenly matched cars, probably against evenly matched people. Um, so yeah, and, and Twitter is the place to be, I think, if you want to know about open lobbies. So I often announce my stuff on there. You can see my name on the screen, Super GT Racer. So sign up to Twitter if you haven't already. Follow me on there. YMTV hosts open lobbies. They did one today. They'll be hosting more in the future. 
plenty of people with tax johnson jsr devon they're all doing it um plenty of pl plenty of people you can join get involved not just me but i do like it that you're here thank you right let's do it silverstone roadrunner on pole lucky sod on my left Irishman, I'm gonna cut that corner like a bitch. Oh, he's punted the on force wide. This isn't gonna end well. Come on, guys, hold your lines, hold your lines. What's this guy doing in the uh, Formula Ford? Oh my god, Del Sol, any more of that, and you're getting kicked. Completely pushed him out. Oh, guess who's in sixth place? Do I want to risk going around this guy's outside after seeing what he just did to that guy? So this is the Ferrari 599. It's a car I used a lot in the early days of S Class. It seems to work very well, actually. I was initially sceptical, I thought it was a bit stiff, but it actually seems to be very nice. Stiff can be good. Stiff can make it easy, um, you know, don't get oversteer on steer. It can make it easy to manage, but it just means it doesn't turn as well as you'd like. Actually, this is actually not too stiff at all. I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, grass. Right, fifth place. Not bad, not bad. What wheel do you guys recommend? I mean, if you're playing Forza, I wouldn't recommend a wheel. There's, there's plenty of wheels out there. I mean, I, I personally use, for iRacing, uh, the Frostmaster TX, which, I mean, it works for me. But to be honest, I haven't tried all of the wheels. I don't know what the other ones are like. There's probably plenty out there which other people would recommend. Like Fanatec, Logitech maybe. Um, yeah, I mean, Frostmaster TX has been good for me. That's all I can say. Really. Okay, let's try and string some uh, good laps together here, shall we? Probably to fourth. Oh, Del Sol's quick. So if he's still in the lobby, he gets kicked. I mean, that was an absolutely brutal movie done this corner in the first lap. The Roadrunner's streaking away here. Oh, God. JSR Ross is behind us. How long before he's on there? Should I just go... I feel I can go ultra-defensive on JSR Ross here. Keep him behind for another five laps. Actually, this car is... Beautiful. Tuned by EMW Ivor Biggum. Now I don't know if he's still with EMW. I haven't actually seen him online in quite a while. He used to be online all the time. Maybe still is. Just haven't seen him. I, I can't remember. I think he's. I'm pretty sure he joined someone else. So he might not be able to get this tune through him through that game. Jess yeah, so R. Rossi. He's, he's catching up. I mean, he's 100 feet behind now. He was 400 at the start of this lap. There he is in his Maserati t <laughs> Oh man, that guy. Here he comes. Look at this. Look at that. Jesus Christ. You could, there's nothing you can do about that. That is ridiculous. Let's try and catch up then. You know what? I, 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 even though Roadrunner's got this big gap, Rossi could conceivably catch up with him still. Um, Roadrunner is 1600, oh gosh, 1600 feet ahead. Rossi could still do this. Which is just staggering really. Okay, this is actually a fairly civilised race up the front here. Once you get away from the riffraff, 
of the mid pack. So I'm keeping up with Rossi through here, but this is for a twisty section. It's up in this straight. I mean, look at him go. Once, it, once you can get to a straight and open up the power, he's absolutely going places. Oh, he's uh, going to get past though by the Zagato again. But then up the old main straight as we come up to now, the floodgates will open all almost into the back of the Zagato. I think they could make contact. And then <laughs> up the inside of the Celine. That Celine is all over the place. Oh, I've got the right there. Sorry. There he goes, Rossi's through into second. Celine is all over the place. There we go, it's a three way uh, race now for third. This would be cool if we can all stay out and race. Race like a man. <laughs> so, Roadrunner in the comments wants Roadrunner to win. I wonder why that is. Well, I think Roadrunner could do it, but then again, Rossi can do it. It could go either way. Oh, I think Roadrunner should do it. He should do it. He's quick. Roadrunner's a very quick guy. That Celine is all over the place. Well, I just couldn't quite get the power down there as I would have liked. The outside into this one. Oh, they're going to make contact. God, the Celine just was not affected by that at all. I think he's, he's a bit laggy. Um, yeah, Martin there. A bit unlucky with that contact. Dropping back a good couple of hundred feet. So. The Celine, then. Let's, let's do battle on guard. He's driving very well, to be fair to him. I mean, this is a guy I gave a chance to. I mean, he did finish in the bottom four at Watkins, quit, but then come back. So he shouldn't actually be here, but you know, he's driving well. Let's uh, give him that. Or oh, I'll run. I've got a run. Not quite, not enough. It'd be interesting on the back straight, the hanger straight. Always oh, wide. Can I capitalise? Oh, fucking hell. Right. That's an absolute pissed at that. Oh, he's waiting for me. Okay, fair enough. So he's trying to hold our line there, but obviously bit of an issue. Now we've got a job on our hands just to try and catch up again with Martin. He's capitalised, got into third. So he's going to go into the pits now. We, let's alternate the strategy. Let's uh, go in a lap later. So let's try and set a quick one here. Try and jump in, in the pits. F1 style. It's all about pit lane overtakes. Yeah, this car is actually really good. I'm really glad I chose it. It handles like a dream. So Rossi is within a thousand feet now of Roadrunner, but. So he definitely has shortened that gap. Um, it's not going to be enough though. It's not going to be enough. I think Roadrunner will emerge at victorious this time. He's, he's done very well from the front. Just managed the race. Okay, so... See then the big question mark here is can we get ahead of Martin? 
who just went into the pit lane. Quarter of a second up on my best. Well, that hasn't been a bad lap so far. It's been pretty good. So there goes Roadrunner into the pits. Rossi should follow him in. There he goes, yeah. And then it's my turn. There we go, right, let's see. guy left straight away, he only saw a couple of people on his screen. Ah, uh, so... Uh, if you have the Opal Mantra, can you try my tune? Maybe. I'll give it a go at some point, I think. Let's see, how is this going to work out? Yes, yeah, no worries about the bump. I mean, it looked like you were lagging a bit, so... Just behind Melish. In fifth. Lucky sod in third. Oh, we're ahead of six feet under, and um, who's right behind? Martin. So I've actually jumped Martin in that phase. Oh, just over one lap, so did pretty well. Shame I couldn't quite keep up with this battle. Melish and Lucky Sod. They continue to battle though, it might change. There goes JSR Myth. Thank you for joining, if you're watching. Thank you very much. Always good to see the JSR boys out here. We had Zoom with a brief cameo at Laguna Seca. Rossi, of course, dominating the hell out of the lobby. Oh, they're battling. Is that Melish around the outside? Wow. Let's see if that F50's got the speed down the straight, though. It'll be very interesting to see if he goes for a lunge. He's pulled out. He's gone for the move. Oh, oh, I don't feel they make contact. But yeah, Melish around the outside. Nice stuff. And he's got up into third place. So well done to uh, Roadrunner there for, for the winning. There are only two people that won races in this lobby. So that's Roadrunner and uh, Rossi, of course. There we go. So. That was a good little pass there from Melish at the end on Lucky Sod. Both racing very hard at the end there. Martin comes through to finish in sixth place. Oh, JSR Myth, he's just backing out for this race. Okay, no worries. Shrek kicked, kicked, kicked out. GTR Infinity. Have he, has he been uh, a bit naughty? Do you watch BTCC? Um, occasionally. JSR Rossi lost kicking. Let's have a look at the results. So Roadrunner Rossi, Mellish, Lucky Sword, Super G2. Look at those lap times at the front. So that Aston DBS is very quick actually. Look at that. Plus, I mean, good driver too. So Del Sol, Terranizer. Kyla at the back. Kick Gerald out for taking people out of the mount see off the grid. I think there was um yeah, problem with a couple of people not being able to see.
but we are yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna remove a couple of people here just just to make space not I'm not taking this personally on anyone here but we are gonna I'm gonna remove a couple of people Terranize as we finish at the back yeah. tell soul sorry can't see most of the people Sorry, sorry everyone, but you know, there'll be more chances for you in the future. George is off. Thank you so much for joining. It's been a pleasure. Hope to see you again soon. Top four get kicked. Yeah, how about that? So at one point there, we had a couple of spaces. We had 18 out of 24, so we do have a couple of spaces. So who's that prod? That filled up quick. Noel Schmull. I recognise that name. Phased intro as well. Prod falls of 4 AMG has joined. Right, let's choose the next track. Um, oh, what should we go for? Um, ooh, it's, okay. I'm going to go for Road Atlanta. Um, one quick stop. Jabari Logan, I was watching you since you started. We've got a day one fan. We've got a day one fan. Tiershar Tatey, oh, I didn't get in. My fans are just too quick. Sorry. It's just the way I bought them up, you know. You have to be fast, you have to be fast. We don't see Monza enough. Well, if you were watching half an hour ago, you would have seen it. Norbert Blackcat, hello. How are you doing? See ya. Kusanem Seipanyol. You might have seen that I'm using the Hungarian flag, actually. Ah, so YMTV Racing, Sunday at 7 pm, hosting. Billy Monger donation events brought to you by Tora. So, Billy Monger had a nasty accident, Formula 4, had to amputate both of his lower legs. Um, so, yeah, it'd be good to get some get some money raised for him. I know there's been a lot of money already raised, but you know, why not more? Get some more for him. I'm going to stick with this 599 GTO because I think this car can work around this track. Do a speed car next, yeah. <laughs> Mocha Cola. I'm not even going to read that comment out. FYH Turbio. He's he's in it. Not in the lobby, but in the chat. Dan Greenwald himself on his second profile. Manine, that GT looking sexy. Cheers, Turbio. Cheers, mate. Right, let's get, let's get ready, up, guys. Oh, he's driving the 959. Fair enough. That's the car from the recent Rivals event. Where's Jake from State Farm? Yeah, I guess I, I guess he's busy um, with State Farm duties. You know, minimal door couldn't make it. This should be a fun race, yeah. Why not? Road Road Atlanta can be a good one. Can be a good one. So six feet under, just waiting for him. Uh, stinking, stinking. Right, sing, sinking. No, I'm not reading that right. But then once once you've chosen, we, we'll get going. JSR Myth going for the the Brabham Classic Eight, Classic F1. JSR Ross is disconnected. Someone else can win. Well, Roadrunner's still here. He'll, he'll probably win now instead. But Rossi's out. That's a space. Minimal door. Is it going to be Minimal door who joins? Let's see. Let's see. Okay, let's let's hurry up with choosing our cars and then we can go. The viewers are dropping. The viewers are dropping. 
He stuck. He stuck with the JSR Lee Campbell. Played it safe. Come on, mate. Right. Is it, but maybe I need to have. I need to have a time limit, you know. On choosing your car. Right, he's ready. This is too long, really. Flow back. Attacks potato. This guy is German. Maybe it's a second profile of Attacks Johnson. We don't know. Could be. And he's dri dri driving the Capri. I know Johnson likes that. <laughs> and Tatey, Tatey couldn't get in. You need to move to. You need to move to Europe, man. Oh my God! Hurry up, guys. I'm just gonna go. You know what? You need to learn your lesson the hard way. You can't take that long to choose your car. How about some BTCC or WTCC cars? Well, once, I, once I've decided on what the stream's going to be, that's what it's going to be. So this is going to be S-Class. But, you, I mean, if you want me to choose one of those cars, yeah, I could do. But I think normally like, the touring cars aren't that good. You are the best YouTuber that does play Forza. Well, thank you, thank you very much. It's always nice to hear that. Jabari, bro, I am watching till you're done, bro. Cheers, bro. See you to the end. Brothers to the end. Okay, Road Atlanta, seven laps. Oh, for the next stream, yeah, yeah, we could do that. Nurburgring in our class is needed. Maybe, but not in this one, not in this stream. Maybe next time. And I think with the touring cars you can get some close racing. Definitely. FB lucky on pole. I'm gonna defend the inside line here, I think. Just hold your line, guys. Oh, true golden ghost lagging. Roadrunner. Pass. Oh. Okay. At least we haven't died. That's good, you know. It's good when you don't die. I prefer that. Staying alive is always good. Now I want to see how good that Aston is in the line. Let's let's Ooh, he's a bit sideways. F40 he's off. And imagine these top guys are just going to stream away. Yes, they are. I can't quite match that. Oh, God, his carnage back there. Look at that. Who's this? Ty 117. Coming past in another Ferrari. Oh, I think I just avoided a lot of carnage back there. Oh, look at that. It's like 18 people in a line. Runner. What happened there? Didn't quite see that. Did he get punted? Or did he lose it? Didn't quite see. Oh, I've just tapped him. Is he going to go? I'm going to go. Sorry. Can't wait too long. Oh man, that has not ended well back there. That's the problem with the S's, I mean, you get a big bunch of people, people can get impatient. Yeah, bad things will happen. Try to stay with Roadrunner. Well, I won't need to now, because he's absolutely been killed in the final turn. Absolutely killed. A gap though to second to third. Always good to know. I'd imagine the Roadrunner will come back though, he'll still finish highly. Oh, 
this car just handles so nicely. A bit lacking in straight line speed on the on the back straight. Effie lucky is quit. I mean, I can't even really apologise there because I did tap him and it it concertinoed up and he ended up having a bad bad run there. So six feet under in the SRT Viper. I mean that thing's got some straight line speed. I can see that. He's going to become a... Oh, he's off. He's become one of those races of two halves where I'm quick through the handling bits, but he's quick up the straights. So, just have to maximise the areas where he's strong. Kick the cut from the Reventon. I can't see what's going on back there. with the leader on this lap. Medish into third and actually Roadrunners back up into fourth so he's done well. I think this handling section where I should be quicker. It's a matter of where can I take. That's going to be hard work. What's the straight line and speed of this thing? Look, it just goes. It just leaves me for dead. So I've got a head here, but he will come back fast. I'm going to stick to one side. It's not making it hard for him. Oh, sorry. Oh, God. I don't know what he's doing there, he's all over the place. I said sorry, but I, mean, I think that was more useful. Oh, he's off. <laughs> but I have no idea what he's doing. But... Oh, he quit. Maybe he just wanted his moment on the screen. Five seconds of fame. Oh, Melish is gone. Thank you for joining, Melish. Um, so, yeah, uh, guys, Wine TV Racing hosting. Um, his commentary or his lobby 7pm on Sunday definitely check them out YMTV Racing search it it should come up Roadrunner is actually gaining big time on me. I don't think there's much I can do he's going to come back and win this race despite spinning unless I can block him off for two laps but I don't think so Aston is really quick. I need to get one. Definitely. There we go. Yeah, YMTV Racing in the comments. There he is. Thank you very much for joining uh, Melish and for Yachts earlier on as well. Keep up the top work on your channel and um, on Twitch as well. All the streaming places. Okay, uh, Roadrunner's right on me now. Building like 300 feet on that, maybe more. He's on me. It's going to be a matter of straight line speed, I think. I think his car is quicker. I'm not sure, though. Let's have a look. No, it should be. It is. It is. 
I'm not going to contest it. Oh, there goes it. He's just he's trolling me now. He's just playing with me. German potato. Super GT, what's your favourite track? Ooh. Rio Coast. Yeah. Ross May, there he is. There he is. JSR Ross. He's going to jump you. I think he is. Oh, we're ghosted. We're ghosted. We are ghosted. Johnson. Hello. What's, how, how is this going to get resolved? We're going to be ghosted here. Or oh, someone else is coming through. Who's this? JSR Myth? Out of nowhere. Oh, man. Roadrunner ghosted me through the pit lane. What the fuck? Really? He ghosted me. Ghost overtake. What the hell is that? That shouldn't be possible. What, mate? Just cheers for the shout out. I gave you. <laughs> Rossi, I must have given you about 50 shout outs in this stream. Oh. Is that road. Road run is. Is he going to get a run? No, that. That Brabham is off. Oh, man. I've got ghost overtakes in the pits. I mean, not that I would have kept Roadrunner behind me, but I'd rather go down like a man, you know? Not like a ghost in the pits. Oh well. Eduardo Mezza. Hello. Welcome to the stream. Who's Johnson? <laughs> Who are you, Johnson? Who are who even are you? Who even are you? JSR Myth? Well played, man. I mean I wasn't expecting that. It came out of nowhere. I, I, think, I guess you went in the pits early. Nailed those laps. And just You know, come out on top. That's how strategy works. Yeah, forgot about Myth, but Roadrun, I mean. Roadrunner finished a second off of, the, off of the lead there, despite spinning out, losing five or ten seconds or something. What's your favourite car in FM6? Oh. It's hard to say, you know. I like, I like quite a lot of cars. Let's have a look at the results. Myth, kind of out of nowhere really, but well, well done. A Roadrunner then in second, good, uh, good comeback. Finished third. Um, Lucky stood there in seventh. Big T, fourth. Phased intro. Martin again finishing in sixth place twice in a row. So maybe he is Super GT. A couple of people leaving there. Aston, Mellish, Lucky, six feet under. So there should be spaces now. So the bottom four, I think, have all left. So there should be some um, some spaces. AMS Roadrunner is amazing. Fair play. Yeah, I mean, very quick guy. Very, very fast. Are you planning to enter any kind of championship in the F4H colours? Yeah, well, FRC, Forza Race Championship Season 3, starts um, Monday. Uh, so that's the Rivals events. And then each Sunday, starting from next Sunday, are the races. And yeah, I'll be doing it in F4H colours. What's your least favourite car in FM6? <laughs> I mean, I haven't driven all of them. Maybe even that, not the 82 um, Porsche 911. Tries to do a wheelie over four seconds. Uh, right, um, okay. Next race is going to be the last one. Yeah, sorry, but 
people have to go to sleep, you know. Gas Marina, what do you reckon? I'd love to do VIR, but I just don't think anyone, not enough people have it. That's the problem with VIR. Spa. Let's end on a good track. Spa. Let's whack it down to... Let's keep it six laps. Let's do six laps. Um, with a quick stop. Do justice to the flag. I'm here to do justice. Tatey! He's in! Yes! Forza News. There he is. Fastest man in New Zealand. He was he was there smashing that join button. He was absolutely on it. Absolutely on it. Okay, so Spa, the last race. Um, six laps, one quick stop. Um, car choice. Oh, I do have a DBS. Maybe let's give that a go. I don't know if I've got the right tune though. Probably not. I think. Low tune. If, if Roadrunner, you're listening, which which tune have you got? Um, Ezux, J Plato, number one. JSR Lee Campbell. JSR Lee Campbell. Ah, oh, can't do it. What? Did I see Tax Johnson? Did he get in? Did Tax Johnson get in? No, no, he didn't. No. Team 4's a DBS. Ah. Okay. Maybe I'll, like, maybe I'll go for a different car then. It's the Team 4's a one. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Um, I'm going to go full noob here. Make, go Viper. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go into try hard mode now. Go with the Viper. Like a full on noob. The Bam missed. Bam missed. Dodge Viper. Oh hey. Choose your best car. I mean, it's hard for me to pick. What I think is the actual best car. Oh, look at these uh, GTR 97. Mm, that looks quick. But you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with the Viper. Just, just give it a go. It should go quickly around the flowing corners. It might be a bit slow on the straights, but. Formula Drift live stream on the TV and Super GT live stream on the phone. It's a good night. Good stuff, good stuff. Right, is that everyone ready? JSR Myth reminding me. There we go, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Face cam. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. I'm back, I'm back. No GTR, guys. Um, yeah. I mean, GTR Aston was here earlier. There's no F4H guys either, actually. I'm the only one. One person disliked the stream. Probably because there was one guy who kept dominating all the races. Oh, yeah, Jess, I lost it, yeah. He's too quick. We're going to do a multi class race next time. Everyone in S class, Jess, I lost in B class. Still probably come in top 10. Has Super GT ever dabbed? Now he has. How'd you like that? Right, last race. Let's make it a good one. Let's go! Why did you leave GTR? Got invited to F4H. Why not? Good time to. Oh, oh, I was on two wheels for a second there. Actually, this car, I don't think it's going to be quick enough in the straights. 
Let's see. Don't go up the inside. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh. Yeah, let's cut that corner. Oh well. Yeah, this is not going to be quick enough in the line. In the, in the line. In fact, uh, actually, I'm not losing too much speed because of these guys. It is very crowded, though. It's eighth. Someone is very sideways up ahead. Oh! <laughs> oh my. 360 no scope. Bounce off that wall. Wall bounce no scope. Nice stuff. Oh, so we have Roadrunner up ahead of us now. So we can keep up with him. Thumbs up for that dab, guys. Who saw that dab? Okay, so Define Dream out in the lead. Martin, Martin's <laughs> behind us in sixth place. Martin has been Super GT in this stream. Oh, oh well, we extended. Brakes are very good. So I'm the pits. Turquoise. Oh, a naughty big extender. Very big extender. Oh, I think that's... Um, so the two guys in the GTR there are... Roadrunner and Myth. So they're, they're neck and neck. Super GT exposed. That dab, <laughs> that dab needs to be in the intro for four to seven. <laughs> just me, just me dabbing. Welcome to four to seven. Jess, our myth there in third place. Remind me if you may, pre previous game attacks of JSR myth. I don't. I, I, it's not a name I. I've heard too much about. I must say. Um, doing too badly, but I mean, this is the, vibe, the 08 Viper, it should be quick. It's going to be quick around this, these kind of sections. Fast flowing corners. I mean, look at the size of that wing, that's, that's some downforce for you. Fine Dream is uh, doing very well here. Do you want me to reveal who Myth is? Yes, I'd like to know who Myth is. Is it Dan Green or Viper New? I'm going all out, Johnson. I can't go stream without winning the race, you know. I have to win. Well, Jess, I'm missing the bits. That tab needs to be everywhere. I think it's one of the best dabs I've ever done. It's one of the best dabs that has ever been done. That's not a wing, that's an ironing board. Yeah. As long as it provides downforce, I'm alright. Ah! Oh! All over the place. I lifted off, I lifted off. 
Let's do a dab down the straight. Right. Oh, get back into it. No more dabs. That power is not helping me right now. I think Defined Dream is slowly getting reeled in in the lead. I think Roadrunner is slowly catching up to him. Ah, so there we go. There's the secret. Myth is. John 1289, yes, of course. Yeah, I should have known that. I, 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 I knew that, but I, I guess I just forgot. Yeah, so John 1289 has joined the stream previously. He's a quick guy, he knows what he's doing. He drove the, I don't know if you're recording one of my previous streams, the, the school run car around Silverstone. He was absolutely really quick in it. Really quick. Okay, this race is hotting up. We're slowly creeping up to the back of Defiant Dream in the lead. Ooh, uh, Ross, uh, Road Runner a little bit. Uh, a little bit deep. There. This car kind of doesn't really rev very nicely at the bottom. Of Second here. What tune is it on those skylines? I'm not sure. We'll have to have a look after the race. But yeah, it seems to be a, a quick one. Ooh, he's very sideways. Sim Twitch. Oh, he's just recovered. <laughs> A very, very scary moment for Roadrunner there. Oh, God. That was not very well done. It feels a little bit stiff, you know. I mean, that skyline is certainly very quick. I mean, keeping up with the Viper. I know it's only me, but through here, look at that. I mean, oops, a bit of an extend, but eh. it's my stream. Do what I want. It's through this section. You can see, I definitely caught up with Defined Dream, but it's just what we're coming up to now is more straight line speed, which I don't know. And it's where I'm going to lose. Should get past me at some point. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Horribly mm -hmm. right And I just don't have the acceleration from second gear. Tuck back in. I had to just back off a little bit there. Otherwise, it would have gone into the back of them. I to find Dream still maintaining a good 800, 800, 900 feet gap. That's 
far too sideways. With Roadrunner for this section. Try to put some pressure down. I don't think Roadrunner's the kind of guy who would succumb to pressure though. one of those yo-yo kind of races where you, you gain through the handling sections but then lose out on the straight line sections. Oh, he's even throwing a drift in there. Oh! <laughs> Don't do that, mate. Do, do a Datsun dive bomb. A Datsun special. Datsun signature move. Outside lunge. Oh! <laughs> oh God! No! I was... No! do this to myself. I was just thinking, what, what I was thinking about was that the ghosty moment at Road Atlanta. I was just thinking about that. It just crashed. Uh, Super GT being Super GT. Whee! Oh, what's going on here? Whee! <laughs> Run, Run up. Roadrunner trolling me hard right now. He's probably going to catch up with me anyway. Still be. Press F to pay respects. That's my Forza career over. I mean, how can you recover from that? There's no coming back. Once you do stupid stuff like that, I mean, who would respect this guy? Super GT. That's it. Game over. Just delete your channel. Delete yourself. In the words of Johnson, delete yourself. Oh boy. Smash your Xbox. Yeah. Get, get a chainsaw out or sledgehammer and just smash it to pieces. Oh! Is that a change for the lead? The fine dream and a turquoise battling it out. If I hadn't been drifting and smashing into the wall, I might have had a chance here. Line. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Myth, Myth and Roadrunner going for the epic flips. Oh, get punted, mate. Get punted. Finish it. Oh! I finish the sixth. Seventh. Hey, Lamau. Delete yourself. AMS Roadrunner finishing in sixth place. 
That was a funny little ending. You know what? Why not? Nice, nice flip there by Roadrunner. I'll give it, I'll give it a nine point eight. Turquoise there coming through to win. Well played. It was like neck and neck on the line with you know, Defined Dream. Clean as a whistle. Yeah, it's good, good stuff. Level 540. Let's have a look at the results for one last time. Turquoise TM just by a tenth beating Defined Dream. Martin there in third. Nile coming through to fourth. Big T in fifth. I mean, to be honest, it was all a big mess back there between 4th and 24th. So, yeah, whatever. Whatever. Have you tried to set a course? Yeah, I mean, I've got a couple of videos on my channel. Uh, two, I think. But yeah, I have, I've got it. Um, yeah. But that is the end of the stream. That's the end. I mean, sorry for anyone who wanted to join but couldn't. There'll be plenty more streams. I'll do more. Thank you for anyone who joined. Um, Roadrunner and Rossi having a lot of good results there. And um, who was it who won the last race? Um, Turquoise. So why not Turquoise there is winning, winning the race? Um, I didn't win any. I'm not, you know, yeah, it's me. Um, maybe on Sunday we're going to do a Porsche practice lobby possibly, we'll see um, it starts on Monday Forza Racing Championship Season 3 um, I'll be streaming all of my races on the Sundays so not this Sunday, the one after and then four Sundays in a row so do look out for that plenty more videos on the channel Forza Horizon 3 um, the, what's it called Hot Wheels Pack I'm going to live stream that when it comes out the tune oh yeah the tune for that Nissan uh, by Roadrunner there it is and then can you get tune yes let's, let's save that <laughs> Johnson good good job like always honey oh, oh. Maybe, maybe he's noticed me he saw that tweet and um, he, he, John, John, Johnson's noticed me do an eye racing stream next. Good idea. Good idea. Oh, one more race. No. That's it. Check out all those people who joined on me. Oh, obviously, it's my open lobby. <laughs> oh, mate. All right. Um, yeah. Uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, you're awesome. Just keep watching the videos. Keep smashing that like button. And um, yeah, keep tuning in. Keep commenting. I'll try to reply to as many people as I can. This video or this stream will go out as a video. So you can watch it all over again if you if you want to do that. Um, anything else to say? I can't think of anything right now. Oh, maybe just join my Twitter. If you're not on Twitter... Um, Maybe it's worth going on there if you want to find out. So I, I post maybe like a day or two in advance when the stream is going to be. So you stand a better chance of getting in if you're on Twitter. And a Seto stream, well, I need to get back in the game first, really. Like, play a couple of times. But yeah, thank you for uh, watching, you guys. Um, when's the next video coming? I'm not sure exactly. Um, Maybe Monday. I'm not, I, I don't know. You'll just have to have to wait out. Shadow Destroyers, thank you for joining, man. Always good to see you. Always good to see you in there. Uh, thanks for everyone who raced. So Roadrunner, Rossi, Turquoise for winning races. Um, and well, I mean anyone who joined. Oh, let's get out of these buggy wheel spins. I don't need money. I've got like. 200 million. Ah, oh, come on. How do we get out? B. Now let's see how much money I have got. Um, 200 million. Huh. Right, that's it. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.